everybody. I just came inside and it was so windy out. I chose a book called When the Wind Stops. I don't think it ever will around here. It seems like it just blows and blows and blows all day long. But this story is written by Charlotte Zolotov and it's illustrated by Stefano Vitale. Here's the cover. It has a library sticker on it. The great bright yellow sun had shone all day, and now the day was coming to an end. The light in the sky changed from blue to pink to a strange dusky purple. The sun sank lower into the long glowing clouds. The little boy was sorry to see the day end. I like that time of day. He and his friend had played in the garden. When they were tired of playing, they lay down in the grass and felt the sun on them, warm and soft, like a sleepy cat resting. There had been icy lemonade in the afternoon, which they drank under the pear tree. And the little boy's father read him a story on the porch before he went to bed. Now his mother came to say good night. Why does the day have to end, he asked her. So night can begin, she said. Look, she pointed out the window where high in the darkening sky, behind the branches of the pear tree, the little boy could see a pale sliver of moon. That's the night beginning, his mother said, resting her hand on his shoulder. The night with the moon and stars and darkness for you to dream in. But where does the sun go when the day ends? The little boy asked. The day doesn't end, said his mother. It begins somewhere else. The sun will be shining there. When night begins here, nothing ends. Nothing, the little boy asked. Nothing, his mother said. It begins in another place or in a different way. The little boy lay in bed and his mother sat beside him. Where does the wind go when it stops, he asked. It blows away to make the trees dance somewhere else. Where does the dandelion fluff go when it blows away? It carries the seed of new dandelions to someone's lawn. Where does the mountain go after the top? Down to where it becomes the valley. Where do waves go when they break on the sand? Sucked back to the sea into new waves. Where does the rain go when the storm is over? Into clouds to make other storms. And 
where do clouds go when they move across the sky to make shade somewhere else? And the leaves in the forest when they turn color and fall into the ground to become part of new trees with new leaves. I like this picture. Do you see the deer hiding in the trees? But when the leaves fall, that is the end of something, the little boy said. It is the end of autumn. Yes, his mother said, the end of autumn is when the winter begins. And the end of winter, the little boy asked. The end of winter, when the snow melts and the birds come back, is the beginning of spring, his mother said. The little boy smiled. That's what it's like out now, isn't it? Lots of birds coming back. It really does go on and on, he said. Nothing ends. He looked out at the sky. The sun was gone completely. The lovely pink clouds had disappeared. The sky was dark and purple black. High above the branches of the pear tree shone clearly now a thin new moon. Today's over, his mother said. It's time for sleep. And tomorrow morning, when you wake up, the moon will be beginning a night far away. And the sun will be here to begin a new day. The end. I hope you like that story and I hope you all sleep really well tonight. Tomorrow's another day. So many new things to do tomorrow. Good night everybody.